Dear students, see the next one. Motion and displacement in the earth is of problem 3.3. Okay. Actually, oh, this is not like a problem. This one of the derivation. By using the formulas method, uh, we are going to derive the equations of motion. Okay. So, you know already the equations of motion for basic method and by using the gravity method already we studied. So, you know, I, I remember that the equation. Uh, you know that, uh, I can write here. Um, v is equal to u plus a t, then s is equal to u t plus half a t square, then we know one more thing, that is v squared is equal to u square plus 2 a s. Okay, then the same thing only, by using that integral form, uh, then we are going to correlate, integration and differentiation, by using we are going to correlate. Okay. So simply you can say that obtain an equations of motion for constant acceleration. This is very important. For constant acceleration by using the method of calculus. Okay. By using the calculate, calculus method, we are going to calculate, uh, we are going to derive the equations of motion. Okay. Right. Uh, so now I don't know idea. Okay. Uh, which equation I am going to derive first, you know. Okay. Uh, simply, uh, let's say take uh, the time, whether velocity or reverse acceleration in this field. Okay? So now, uh, let's say take the time of acceleration. I don't know which equation I am going to do first. Okay, let's tell uh, the acceleration by using the definition you know, acceleration. There is a change in velocity, that's for the time. So, uh, like that, acceleration equal to change in velocity divided by time by time. So now, uh, acceleration into the change in time is equal to dv. Okay. So the dv is there, but you know generally the equations of motion. Okay, velocity, acceleration, v, a, like that will come. So here dv is there, it is integral, it's a differentiation form. Okay, it's a differentiation form. So let's retake the integration. Okay. Uh, uh, differentiation is a very small value, very, very, very small instant value. So after any very very multiply number, let's take the integration. Okay, so the so integrating on both sides. Okay, so that integration, uh, we should apply the limit for according to its specification. So here specification is velocity, here acceleration, no issues because acceleration is constant, but then here is a time. Okay, so according to that, you should apply the limit for integration. Okay, so the left side, integral dv, acceleration is constant, so let's take outside, then integral time. Okay, then the next thing, uh, we should apply the, what is that, limit. So here velocity, limit is from initial velocity, uh, for example, arms is moving here to here means, uh, maybe here initial velocity is something, then final velocity is something. Okay. So simply I mention as uh, V and U, U and V, initial velocity U, final velocity V. Or otherwise you got this, you will say initial velocity V not, final velocity V anything. Okay. So now I take uh, initial velocity U, final velocity V, the integral D, integral dv, you know, v. Then upper limit minus y limit, you want to apply upper limit and y limit. Upper limit minus y limit, that is v minus u. So let's say this one. Let's come the right side. Acceleration is constant, is outside. The integral dt is we can write t. Then start the initial, here the initial velocity timing, now only a note in initial velocity, so the time is 0. The final velocity noted time is t, so 0 to t. So integral dt, you can write t. Then upper limit minus y limit as we so t minus 0. Okay, so the next step I write here, let's say v minus v equal to a into t, then 0 value no limit. Therefore, v is equal to u plus a t. So I derive the first equation. Okay, so first equation is over. So by using that acceleration, I found something. So the equation I got v is equal to u plus a t. Like that, next uh, try some other equation. By using already acceleration is over, by using the velocity time. Okay, so one very simple instead the part the next two steps uh, by using the velocity definition. So by the definition of velocity, you know the change in displacement with respect to the time. So d x is equal to d t. Okay, so you know the equation. This is you know this is the relationship between the velocity and the time. Okay, so velocity time relation only over now. And then if you observe the next one, uh, the position and the time, okay, 
and then third one that is you know position and velocity so see that next one the position and the time so position and time means position we need position means what here dx is the position so let's say take the dx is here so dx is equal to velocity into dt so again so position means what from here to here this change okay so here to here this change okay so maybe it is origin okay it is origin from the origin already is in s not position okay uh, or otherwise origin is also calculated as s not anything okay now at, at present situation is s and something or otherwise this is x this is x not or anything okay so simply i write as uh, x not to x okay that is equal to this here 0 to x also we can mention in the answer you know problem so x not to x at the time v not to what is it 0 to t okay right now integral dx you can write x again upper limit minus lower limit will come x minus x not will come okay like that the next one the time factor so here velocity is there okay but you know already velocity is nothing but u plus a t so instead of this b i can write as b is equal to u plus a t okay now this integral value is common for u factor and a t factor so i have to split this equation okay so the integral u into dt plus integral a t into dt okay right now let's come for the first term so u as usual then integral dt integral dt that is t again upper limit minus y limit upper limit is t y limit is 0 so t only will come so u into t then plus acceleration already is constant it is outside remaining is what integral remaining is what integral t power 1 into dt is that okay this is like you know the formula what is the formula integral x power n into dx integral x power n into dx formula what? that is x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 this already I mentioned in the previous sessions so x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 so here in the place of n what is the 1 is there so we can write as t power 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 so we can write t squared divided by 2 ok so it's a t square divided by 2. So, j already is there. So, integral t into dt I can write t square divided by 2. Actually, this is what? Half a t square. Okay. So, I can write x minus x naught is equal to ut plus half a t square. Suppose initially you are absorbing, there is no displacement means x naught value is 0. x naught value 0 means what will come? That is uh, x is equal to ut plus half a t square. Uh, you know, this is actually what? The simple to u t is simple to u t plus half a t square only. Okay? Right. Therefore, x minus x naught equal to u t plus half a t square. Therefore, x equal to minus x naught moving on other side. There is x naught plus u t plus half a t square. Suppose that initially that the position is 0 means that is x naught x naught value is 0. Okay? Right. So now, we know that uh, 2 equation v is equal to u plus a t and s equal to u t plus half a t square ok next one that is uh, v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s ok so that only we are going to derive ok um, but we know in the first derivation already we used acceleration equal to change in velocity divided by time second derivation by using velocity is equal to change in displacement divided by time but third equation, if you focus that, here there is uh, some relationship between uh, what is that, uh, speed and the position, I mean, the displacement and position. Okay, so S and V, or X and V, okay, velocity and position. Okay, okay. then as well as acceleration also will come. Okay, so now what I do, let's take acceleration formula first. So acceleration is equal to change in velocity and with respect to the time. Okay. But now here acceleration is okay, velocity term is okay, but time factor will not come. Okay, in this equation there is no time factor. But here the time factor is there. 
then one more thing here the position that is the x or otherwise the x will come but uh, the pattern is not there up in the time varu kudadu but idu varu position undu varu so multiple and divide by changing position so in case we not change multiple and divide by uh, changing position okay the same equation multiple and divide by dx ipo enna pandrana next will interchange okay dx will come here dt will go there okay so what will come the next step dv divide by dx next step dx divide by dt okay so now you know this dx divide by dt dx divide by dt is what velocity okay therefore acceleration is equal to dv by dx into what is that velocity so now it is very very important steps okay so acceleration is equal to dv divided by dx into velocity so that is i write here okay therefore dx because you know what is it there is a relationship between the velocity and the, uh, the position so i can write that dx is equal to app dx ku per a kya varum app 1 by a into v into dv the same thing only i can just alternate for uh, to find it uh to integrate from going to integrate you know right so now in this equation so integrate on both side so integral dx then uh, 1 by a is constant that is acceleration is constant then integral v into v okay then as as we want to apply the limit so we let's say the position so position you know x not to x then right side is velocity velocity u to v or v not to v that is equal to convenient okay right therefore upper limit minus y we already you know the steps x x minus x not upper limit minus y anyway 1 by a already is there then you know this is already uh, what is the formula that is you know that is integral x into dx so i can write as this is as x squared divided by okay here x power x squared divided by 2 so like that you get a v squared divided by 2 so upper limit minus y anyway that is v and u so v squared divided by 2 okay minus u squared divided by 2 so 2 is common let's take outside initially so 1 by 2 a then v squared minus u squared will come after apply upper limit minus y anyway inside inside the bracket v squared minus u squared will come so please listen so if i take root both side so x minus x not is equal to 1 by 2 a because 2 is a common So v squared into v uh, upper limit then lower limit then next apply upper limit v squared then apply lower limit that is u squared minus u squared okay now the two a is multiplied here so two a into x minus x r the remaining right side is v squared minus u squared therefore v squared is equal to minus u squared moving this side plus u squared therefore v squared equal to u squared plus two a x minus x r okay suppose our starting position is here. to reach in position is there okay so the starting position is taken as x not then initial or end position is x so the distance between initial and end position let us take yes means what is the equation that is v squared is equal to u squared plus 2a yes the same thing only okay so now we know the third equation is also derived okay okay students i hope you understood the equations of motion here in three methods we completed the one is uh, you know very well basic derivation method and then second one by using the graphical method and the third one by using the cartesian method okay